Hey everyone, today I wanted to showcase one of the best free CAD programs that I have ever used. So I come from a background of using SolidWorks, and after using SolidWorks for years, I find that a lot of the free options just seem lacking. This is the first program that made me stop and go, wow, that is incredible. So this is DesignSpark Mechanical, and let me show you what it's all about. So you have the sketch plane here, and I can sketch on it like you can with most programs. And I can draw this rectangle and just start typing in a dimension. So let's say I want this 40 millimeters by 20 millimeters. It'll make that sketch. And then I can then grab this sketch and pull it into a three-dimensional object. So now you see that just from the sketch, I have this three-dimensional object. And at any point, I can click on any of these faces and adjust the dimensions however I see fit. So I can make it larger. I can make it smaller. I can do what I want with it. I can also draw a sketch on any of these planes. So you can see as I'm mousing over, it's trying to infer which face that I want to sketch on. So if I select the front face and I draw a circle in the middle, I can again type in the dimensions. And I can also grab that sketch and pull it into a pin. But I can also grab this face and push it through the object. And DesignSpark Mechanical knows that I want a hole right here. I can also grab one of the faces and manipulate it and change the radius at will. And I can still do the same with all of the other faces, change it around as I want. If I create this and I click on this face, I can then add some more drawings. So if I create this circle here and I create one on the other side, it knows that I want this to be the same size as the one that I just drew. You can see that it's highlighted over on the left. And I can also select multiple faces and pull them at the same time, pull them the same distance. And I can do kind of the same thing with this cube. If I click on opposite sides, DesignSpark Mechanical knows that I probably want to pull these symmetrically. So you can see I can make them bigger, I can make them smaller, I can adjust them how I want. So I can also create a plane, and I can create a plane, it'll try to do it on any of these faces, but you can also select this middle and have a plane go directly through this object. And if I decide that I don't want a portion of this design anymore, I can click on that feature and just delete. And you can see over here that it's still all just a solid and a plane. There's no feature tree. There's no uh, reference to what order you created the object. It's all just one solid object. So the pull tool, you saw that I can adjust the, I can pull it and extrude it. The move tool will allow you to move an object. And one thing you can do is you can say, I want to move it symmetrically. So I've created this plane, and I'm going to click on these, this object, this pin. And I'm going to say, I want to move it around the fulcrum of the plane. And I want to do it symmetrically. So as I mouse over, DesignSpark Mechanical knows that I probably want to move this pin. And as I manipulate it, you can see that both move, and they move symmetrically. And you can do the same thing with particular faces. So if I click on this face and the edge and say move symmetrically, it knows that as I move it away, it's going to change the angle of both pins. And I can also adjust the angle just by rotating. And you can see that the pins adjust with it. With DesignSpark Mechanical, there's no need to create a million different sketches. If I already have this object, I don't need to draw another one. So if I select this face and select all the edges using the pool tool, they give you options to copy an edge. So if I select all of these edges, I can then copy it downwards and create another sketch right here. And if I were to click on this edge, and select pivots and again select all of the edges on this sketch as I pull and manipulate the sketch it knows that I want to do a draft here so I can create some pretty complicated geometry just by pushing and pulling and using what is already on the sketch so I can still click this bottom plane and push it up I can click on an edge so if you click on a particular edge 
uh, the edge will give you the option to do a chamfer. Whoops, if I click the option. So you can do a round over. So I can make this edge round. Or I can also click on the round and make it into a chamfer. It's just that simple. So if I leave this and I go to the top here, I can do another sketch and I can draw a circle directly through the middle of it. And I can pull this through and it's going to cut through the entire object, anything in this way. You can see it cut through the cube, it cut through the top here, and it even cut through the chamfer. And it leaves all just a single piece of solid geometry. I can also grab these faces and I can push them inwards to make these pins a little shorter. Design Spark Mechanical also makes it very easy to create different objects within the same design and to create patterns of objects from those. So if I go to the top here and I go select here to go directly to the top of the Z axis, I can start sketching anywhere. It doesn't have to be part of this object. I can create over here and just create a circle and extrude this separately and it will create another solid object. I can also click this sketch and say I want to extrude it up to a particular surface. So I can say extrude up to this distance and it will extrude this cylinder into the same height as this object over here. And I can select both of these faces and move them symmetrically around the middle of it. And you can also connect solid objects. So I have these two separate objects. If I wanted to make them solid, first I'm going to move this over, this object over a little bit. So I can move it using the move tool. And I can also select this object over here and say, I want to click this face and I want to pull it up to a surface. So extrude up to this uh, cylinder. And I can do the same with these faces. I can click these, say extrude up to, and it will create it. And you can see over here in this solid panel, it Design Spark Mechanical now knows that it's one solid piece. I didn't have to say merge these, I didn't have to do anything. Design Spark Mechanical just does it. And I think that is amazing. And I can still manipulate all of these faces. I can make this cylinder larger, I can make the hole through the middle smaller, I can adjust it. And I can do patterns. And this is what I really like about Design Spark Mechanical. So if I select this and I click and drag and select all of the first objects, I can use the move tool to say I want to create a pattern. So I click on this and I say I want to create it uh, around an axis. So I'm going to select this axis. Then I'm going to click and move the, uh, the vertical down to the center of this axis. And now, as I click and drag this, Designs Work Mechanical knows that I want to create a pattern of these. And as I change the angle, it's going to infer that I wanted to create a pattern of four. I can have it create a pattern of three. And as you adjust it, it's going to automatically determine how many of these objects you should have. So if I create it with six of them, I now have a pattern with six of these objects. So I can grab the center face, I can pull it through to cut a hole in the middle, and what's great about this pattern is when I manipulate one of these, all of the patterned objects will also change. So if I click on this face and I pull it, you see that all six of those faces are moving. And so you can do some very powerful things just by pulling, moving, and creating patterns. And this is what Design Spark Mechanical is all about. And it's really simple to learn. You can see what I've created in just nine minutes of pulling and pushing and extruding. So give it a try. This is Design Spark Mechanical by RS Components and Space Claim. And it's very easy to export it as an STL, which you can then import and slice and turn into a 3D object. So this program is a great free CAD program to turn your ideas from a concept into your head into a 3D model in which you can then 3D print. So download it, 
give it a try. Let me know what kind of stuff you have created using Design Spark Mechanical. I'm really interested to see what you guys think of it. So let me know in the comments below. So like the video if you liked the video, and don't forget to subscribe for some more awesome projects. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. We learned that even though the thermistor is reading 110 degrees, it's actually only about 96 degrees in the middle of the build plates. So give that a try. If you're looking for a way to finish your ABS prints, pick up some clear coat with some acetone in it and see how it works for you. Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.